Hey everybody, let's do a few letters here. Letters, letters, le le letters, letters, letters for the 17th of uh, April 2021. The Beaver Den RV Living and Crafting. And again, thank you for the clock. Yeah. Uh, we've never technically been kicked out of a boondocking spot. We parked at a Kmart once overnight, had permission from Kmart, but got a, woo a rude awakening from a local beeping a local beeping his horn and yelling at us saying was calling the police because we were sleeping there overnight. LOL. We were, we were leaving anyway because we just weren't driving. Th we were just driving through, but yeah, people are asshats. I like that term. Uh, anyhow, we're not in the Carolinas anymore. We're down in Georgia. Oh yeah. Wow. We arrived at our new campsite a couple hours ago. Baby will run into unstoppable Morgan. Rattling Solo says before uh, somebody like Carolyn's RV Life starts threatening to post a video about their dispute, her dispute with a car repair shop or a vehicle repair shop, she needs to tell the story to an impartial third party. She might think she was wrong, but it may just be her perspective, and perhaps it was, and perhaps it was legitimate. You know, <clears throat> that's true. She, she, as I said, she needs to get somebody like Scotty Kilmer, or another um, mechanic guy to or gal, to look at her issue, look at her receipts, and have her explain the issue and, and calmly decide what to do about it, right? Terry Cruzan, Cruzan says, uh, Carolyn's RV Life mishandled this big time. <clears throat> she should have been, uh, she should have never been, uh, <clears throat> it, it should never have been content. Uh, her videos were not the same as videos that might educate people about being careful and preventing fraud. That would have been okay. She uh, made way too many uh, videos about this issue, and she has no right or reason to blame that company and name them on a public platform. You know, again, it's a very good topic, how to not get ripped off by a car repair pair place and some of her advice about don't let this happen to you or whatever. And, and I th do think she should have, you know, <clears throat> worked through the various ways to deal with this without putting it up on YouTube. You know, using your public platform as a a weapon, quote unquote, is probably not the smartest thing to do. Texas Tornado, <clears throat> 1959 says, got my second Pfizer vaccine on Wednesday, no side effects. Thank you. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, yeah. So what do you gotta say, Camo Bear? I'm so glad, thank you, Jesus. Yeah, everything's going good with a, with a t Texas tornado, yeah! Oh yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Chris says, hey Dave, I wanted to challenge myself to see if I could find Columbo-like research skills and find uh, Justin Credible's new 10 acres of land. And I'm about 95% sure I found it. Uh, yeah. Anyway, it's on Salt Spring Island. I'm not going to give you the GPS coordinates because we don't want to dox. Uh, we don't want to dox Justin, but uh, the uh, some of those islands are way up in the distance. Uh, they're called the San Juan Islands in the United States. They're, they're near there. Okay, so it's yeah, it's um, near down by the American border there. I I would be curious to know how much he spent. He does have a killer million dollar view. Hey, we hear from Walter here. We were talking about the other day about uh, Texas possibly passing a uh, a, uh, a bill that would uh, forbid RVers from par from parking overnight on public streets and uh, like in Walmart parking lots. Dave, the Ninth Circuit Court has already ruled on this. It is legal to park on a public street overnight, not to mention on private property, unless the private property owner does not allow this. Will Prowse has a YouTube video about this where he had the Ninth Circuit's ruling printed on hand to keep the, to the cops who knocked on his RV telling him he was in violation of the law. In many cases, the police themselves didn't know the law and weren't aware of the ruling. The Ninth Circuit doesn't cover Texas, but a federal judge will be more likely uh, will be will more than likely block any new state law like this. And if it's a federal judge, they'll rule in favor of the Ninth Circuit and the Fifth Circuit, which would be in conflict, resulting in the case being settled by the Supreme Court. This could go to the Supreme Court. I don't know, man. I don't know. Wow. I would suspect the ACLU would love for the police to issue such a ticket to begin the legal process. The Supreme Court may soon rule on whether it's legal to uh, park overnight in a Walmart parking lot. How about that? 
All right, folks. Thank you so much for watching this uh, abbreviated version of Letters, Letters, Letters. You have a wonderful rest of your Saturday vlog. Under.